Oh, bitch, I'm hungry as fuck. <laughs> and welcome back or to my channel. So today I'm gonna be filming a favorites video. Holy shit, it's happening. That was really dramatic. Anyway, yeah, isn't that fucking insane? Literally my last favorites video I think was like August favorites or something. Yeah, some crazy shit, ma'am. And if you're wondering what's going on with my face, uh, the usual. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it hasn't been the usual since 2018 started. Yeah, I actually beat my face and it's dramatic as fuck. But it, obviously my comeback was gonna be dramatic as fuck cause like, obviously. Anyway, I just have a whole lot of sensory shit going on right now. And it's just like my eyeballs are watering. I can't hear out of my left ear slash I can, but I can hear myself. So that's awesome. I'm like slightly kind of getting over an ear infection, but like not really cause it's still fucked up. So that's fun. My my hair is a fucking wreck. Pretty positive I wore this dress like a thousand times in this image. Kidding, not that much. But I am an outfit repeater, so I probably did. No, this time last year, or my February favorites of last year, I wore this dress. I remember like the most pointless shit, I swear. Anyway, before I start, even though I just went on a fucking tangent, I'm pretty positive this is gonna be my last video in this room, in this apartment in this godforsaken city. No, but I'll, I'll really miss it. And I'm sad because like, this is like my fucking dojo, bitch. And it's like decked out in lights and it has like my favorite shit, my fucking favorite decor. It's, uh. <laughs> Makes me sad, but it's just cause I'm actually finally moving out. Like, I mean, technically I've already moved out cause I'm already living with my aunt and have been since like September, but like I had all my shit here still and my sister lived here, but like now she's moving out and somebody's gonna rent the place. And it's like, I need to get my shit out. But yeah, I'm pretty positive this is the last video I'll make in here. Although I might be wrong. Like I'm like 98% like sure it's gonna be my last video. But anyway, yeah, let's get on to it. This month's favorites video is gonna be kind of like the stuff in it is gonna be boring. Like to me, it's kind of boring. There's no exciting palettes or like glitter. I mean, technically I have glitter cause I'm wearing it on my eyes, which I did record this look by the way. Hey, I did something. Okay, I'm just gonna shut the fuck up and start. So my first favorite, which I'll start off with the most random thing and the only thing that's not beauty related. And that is... That... Are... And that is... My AirPods, okay, who the, f the fucking Apple AirPods. Those are my first favorites. That's what I was trying to get at. Or my first favorite. Anyway, it's just hella convenient to not have the goddamn cord. I knew I would hella like them, especially after paying like $170 for them. Um, bitch, I better like them. But I just didn't realize once I started using these, how annoying it is to have like a cord. <laughs> I sound so like first world, like fucking privileged white girl right now. I shouldn't record a video when I'm like this because I just feel like batshit crazy. But that's like a daily thing. So it's not that weird. Once I started using this and like not using my headphones with cords, like my beats or whatever, I realized how annoyed I was of cords and how nice it is to like get up from my laptop and not take my fucking laptop with me because I forgot that I have headphones in. And then the same shit with my phone. Then again, headphones have saved my phone countless times. But anyway, these are just, they're hella nice. These little bitches right here. They, oh, this is just like the charging case, in case you didn't know. I can, I can get this out. And it's just like the normal Apple headphones, just without the cord, like I said a million times. But yes, I love these. The sound quality is the same as like the other Apple headphone shit. They stay charged for hella long. Like I've used them for literally like maybe six hours. Like, yeah. <laughs> Christ, I can't even form fucking words. I just need help. Bitch, I need a straining jacket. Does straining, what, what you fucking noodles? Like, I just got problems, okay? But I meant to say that I was using it like continuously for like six hours. I just, I couldn't think of the word. There it is. And they lasted for six fucking hours. And I was like, wow, bitch, I'm impressed. But these are popping. My second favorite I'm wearing on my face. And that is the uh, Lingerie de Peau Guerlain. 
<laughs> wow, I just like pronounced the name of it correctly in French, but then like I can't even pronounce like the fucking brand name. Guerlain or something? I don't fucking know, bitch. That this, I'll put it on the screen, this brand. I just, clearly if I can't think of a word and I'm just mentally unstable today, then I'm not gonna be able to pronounce things properly. But this foundation is popping as fuck. No, this is honestly like, damn, I wanna say it's like the best foundation I've tried so far, or like sheer to medium or sheer foundation I've tried. And I feel like, you know, I feel like it is besides the um, Givenchy one that I use for like hella long. But again, the only, which I also mentioned in my February favorites where I was wearing this. <laughs> Wow, full circle, bitch. But again, the only issue that I have with this and the fucking Givenchy one is that they don't come in my shade. They come in like fucking six shades. Like I swear to God, these high-end brands, like I've said before, they just see in white. And like, but again, not white enough. Like this shit is like too dark for me. So then I end up having to take my bronzer down my neck. Or I mean, obviously I can just take the foundation down my neck, but the only reason I don't do that is so I don't waste foundation. So then I just take the bronzer down my neck to make myself slightly darker, if that makes sense. It's like, I don't even want to look tan. Like I literally just want to match my fucking foundation and my skin color, but that's too goddamn hard for these high-end brands. So then I have to look tan, like a shitty tan. So yeah, that's my only issue. My only fucking discrepancy with this bitch is that it doesn't come in my shape. Of course, the best foundation doesn't come in my shade. But yeah, I've been feeling like sheer foundations lately and so I was like on the search for one and then I came across this bitch and it's popping. Except for that shade, boo shit. But I'll get over it, I guess. If at any point this stops abruptly, that's just because I ran out of memory on my SD card. Because, of course. Anyway, my next favorite is the Clinique Moisture Surge uh, Extended Thirst Relief, which always cracks me the fuck up because I'm thirsty, so I need a moisturizer. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Fucking, I, I even got like a decent amount of sleep. I got like six or seven hours sleep last night. So that's actually really good for me because usually I get like three or four maybe. So I'm like doing well or last night I did well with sleep, but yet I'm still loopy as fuck. But anyway, this is hella good. It keeps my shit moisturized and soft or it makes a good base for my foundation. But the shit is popping and it is, I, I wouldn't say actually it's extended thirst relief. I think it, it's like good for a couple hours. I mean, I don't know if that's extended, but it don't seem like it to me, but I like this moisturizer. My next favorite is this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Shine shit. Um, it's, it's fucking lip gloss. And I've been wearing this so, so fucking much the last couple months because again, or not again, if you guys haven't seen like my last two videos, I mentioned that I've been wearing next to no makeup because I've been unmotivated as fuck and I still am. So the other reason I did this is because once in a great while or once in a blue fucking moon, I get like a burst of motivation and then I take advantage of it and then I do like a full face or something or I like actually go outside, do what you can, bitch. But anyway, yeah, I've been wearing like no makeup. So this has been like my kind of go-to lip color because again, I'm like a typical white person. I don't really have lips. I mean, it only looks like it now because I'm wearing a really dark lip color and because I overlap my lips. <laughs> Obviously. So it's nice to have a little something on my lips so it's not like absolutely nothing going on there. Now I like this and it, it is actually hydrating, you know. It makes sense, it's, it's called fucking Hydro Boost, you would think it would be hydrating. And my next favorite is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Bitch. And I've been using this for a while, like again, I've actually been using a lot of these in a few of my videos, like the best couple fucking months or some shit. It's just, obviously I haven't made a favorites video since like August, so I'm just getting around to talking about the shit that I've been using. But um, the mascara itself is like, like good. Like, I mean, I mean, it's not horrible or, or bad or even bad or anything. It's just like, it's like fine. It's like good, you know? The thing that makes me love it and why I'm including it in this video is because the applicator or not the, the wand the wand on this bitch is like really skinny so it's like perfect for my lower lash line to get up all in that bitch so I like this hoe and my last two favorites is the are the ah I thought of the right one this time but the second to last is this party tart blush and I really don't like the name because it's like party with three A's. So technically it's pronounced like a frat bro would probably pronounce the word party, but I am not in a fucking fraternity. So I'm not gonna say that. But anyway, it's just, it's the same color as the packaging. So it's like a really nice, like a mauve color. It's like not too pink where you're like fucking strawberry shortcake, but it's not like too dark where it's like purple. Cause that would work for my skin tone. And I would say that I'm wearing it right now, which I am, but like I kind of put like red eyeshadow up here. So it's kind of hard to see the real color of this bitch because it's kind of like mix it with red but it's nice I'm not gonna swatch it because I'm not a beauty hero and I'm a slacker so you can look at it in the pan it's 
pretty. That's that on that. And the last favorite of Malsh is, uh, what, how do you even say March? Did I just say March? Wait, oh right, it's like spelled like Mars, but pronounced mouse. Okay, I just need to like go to sleep or eat or something. That's what's, that's what's wrong. I haven't eaten since last night. That's why I'm loopy as fuck. I don't get hangry. I just get even more insane than I already am. It's like a recipe for fucking disaster for me. But anyway, my last favorite is this Milani bronzer in uh, 09 Dolce. Sorry, Dolce. I pronounce things weird sometimes. And it's really pretty. When I first got it, it had like kind of like gold within this hoe, which I don't think it really makes a difference, the gold, but um, it's pretty. Not much to say about it. It has a really nice formula, Milani. Makes really poppin' ass, like, well, poppin' ass, a lot of shit that they make is poppin'. But um, they're really good with like bronzers and like skin type powder shit. So this is the second Milani thing. The other one that I had was like a powder foundation that I use as bronzer, but now I'm using this. And again, I would like, I'm wearing it, but I'm sure the lights are fucking with the color of it. So again, probably doesn't show the true color, but it's really nice. I mean, as long as you don't pack this shit on, it's like good for pale skin. Just be very light handed with this bitch. Actually, I lied. <laughs> so my last actual favorite is this hoodie, which in December, um, the Prince Estate announced that it was like gonna have limited edition like merch and shit. And I was like, oh, bitch. So I like got on that and I got a limited edition hoodie. And sorry if there's hair all over it, it's my cat's. But even if it wasn't, don't fucking judge me. Maybe I like hair on my clothes. But anyway, hopefully you can see this shit but it says Prince 1999. <laughs> like I'm not even being dramatic, but like I've literally been wearing this like every day. I wash it, but I've been wearing it like every day. And in case y'all don't know by now, I am a serial outfit repeater. So don't be surprised if you see me in the same shit all the time, because that's what I do. Also, because I'm poor and I can't really get a bunch of new clothes all the time, especially because I've been sick. Moving on to my five favorite songs of the motherfucking month. Because bitch. That's actually my favorite part about favorites videos is the music. Not only because music is my life, but also because that means that I'm at the end of the video. And the only reason that I'm happy about that is because I can't stop fucking rambling. So it takes me like two hours to film one of these. But then again, it, it usually takes me over two hours to film any video because it's, I'm me. But anyway, let's get on to the fucking songs and shut the fuck up, goddamn. Oh, right. Ooh, no. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I love this song so much. Okay, that was creepy. Hey, hey, mom, said the way you move gon' make you sweat, gon' make you groove. Gon' make you burn, gon' make you stay. Okay, so that was Black Dog by Led Zeppelin. And are you shocked? You shouldn't be, because I listen to oldies. Like, that's all I, I'm just kidding, it's not all I listen to, but majority of the shit I listen to is oldies. If you didn't know, now you do. And if you don't know, right. now you that's know, right. you know. <laughs> Fucking Led Zeppelin is popping. Like, I just love Led Zeppelin. Like, I wouldn't say that I love classic rock, technically. I mean, that is classic rock, because there's like 80s rock, and then there's like alternate, like there's a whole shit ton of fields and branches to rock and, and like to all music, but rock is what I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, I do like classic rock, but it's just like selective, and Led Zeppelin is within that selectiveness. Uh, because I just love Robert Plant's voice. Like, I realize that there's a theme going on with all the rock that I like, including 80s rock is when guys have like, oh, there's like a name for when guys sing high pitch and I can't think of it. I don't know, but when like guys have like a higher pitch voice or like they, just the way he sings, like you feel me, you, you know what I'm talking about. Like he sings like higher pitch and shit and he has just like a really wide range even though he usually is like in the higher notes, like soprano type shit. I love that in my rock music, very much so. That song is just badass, like it's fucking Led Zeppelin, bitch. And my next song, speaking of rock. So that was Rocket by Def Leppard. But uh, oh my God, first of all, like I love Def Leppard. I have a fucking t-shirt with Def Leppard. I need more like band t-shirt. Actually I have multiple t-shirts with Def Leppard on it. And I wore one on my birthday actually. But anyway, I want more band t-shirts. Bearing back to the point. I love Def Leppard and 
just that song like oh bitch i just love the breakdown when they sing the chorus like and the guitar like i actually like here's a fun fact i really want to learn how to play the electric guitar like obviously i should probably start with like an acoustic but like i really want to play an electric guitar because i just i want to get evicted but also because like it's badass and i've always wanted to play some type of instrument and that's gonna be it i'm gonna do it bitch but anyway i fucking love that song like again with every rock song like i love it because it's like badass and the breakdown is like amazing and again, like I mentioned, like that high pitched singing, love it. So, yeah, moving on. So that was Them Changes by Thundercat and oh my god I love his whole like fucking vibe and aesthetic if you will with his music and shit it's like got that like soul but it's like a modern type twist on soul and funk but when I first heard that song I deadass thought that it was um Footsteps in the Dark by the Isley Brothers I'm sure you've heard a portion of it. I know damn well you've heard a sample of it, speaking of, or Between the Sheets. Actually, that was the one that was sampled by both Gwen Stefani and Biggie. But anyway, but yeah, so when I first heard it, I was getting prepared to like lip sync Footsteps in the Dark, but I was like, oh, just kidding. But then I was like, but this is fucking popping. I love this because it's funk as shit. <laughs> it's funk as shit. <gasps> it's funky. <laughs> oh, wow, that kind of sounded like I said it's fucking shit. <laughs> but yeah, that I, I just love that song. It's a vibe. I hate myself for using that fucking lingo. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> I love that song. So that is Check the Rhyme by Tribe Called Quest. And I'm sure you guys have gathered that I love like old school R&B, hip hop, rap. And sorry for those who have been around and like watch my favorite videos and shit. I know I like reiterate this in every fucking favorites video, but it's like, I know there usually are like new people who watch my videos too. So just wanna let y'all know this kind of music I like. But then again, you probably can just gather that because it's in my favorites, which I never thought about. <laughs> Bitch, I need help. But anyway, yeah, I just love a tribe called Quest in general. I just love old school hip hop and rap, like 80s and 90s. It's just like my shit. I know you guys are probably like, Bitch, you like 80s rock, you like classic rock, you like RB, you like funk, you like classical, you like jazz. The fuck's wrong with you? A lot of things but i just have like an eclectic taste in music bitch like damn don't come for me like i just like music bitch i'm not kidding when i say music is live because it is and i listen to a lot of it but going back to what i was saying yeah this is just like the shit that i listen to so obviously i love it and the, the fucking beat when i first heard it especially that beginning part like it set my soul ablaze. Like, wow, that that's a drop. And uh, let's move on to the last favorite song, which really gets me going, bitch. Bitch, where are you at? Oh, I can't find anything. I am thoroughly confused, my G. All right, so I'm on one. I'm always on one. Bitch, the fuck, okay, you know what? Let me just search it, cause I am, I am in no mood to, for this shit. So that was Me, Myself, and I by De La Soul. And again, I just love De La Soul because like, did you not hear that song? But oh my God, <laughs> like like I literally just said, I love 80s and 90s hip hop and R&B and shit. And that just like hits me in the soul. 
that song's popping. As you could see, it just makes me want to like get up and start dancing. So not only is the song just amazing in general, and I would have loved it anyway, but it holds a special memory because back in high school, <laughs> like it was so fucking long ago, but in high school, like my junior year, if you didn't know, I was a part of dance ensemble, which is really, it was like kind of, just think of it as like a sports team, but we just danced and put on like dance concerts and shit. But anyway, I was a part of this dance team, dance ensemble. And one of the pieces that we did was to the song, but then like I wasn't in the piece, but my best friend Marisha, shout out to you babe. Uh, she was in it and I was like, bitch, I'm hella mad. I was so mad. I wanted to be in that piece. It's just that the choreographer who did that piece had classes and like rehearsal and shit on Saturdays. And like my aunt was the fucking devil. And th there's just a whole ass story behind that shit. But the point is that I couldn't go to her classes, which is why I wasn't in the piece. I'm just forever gonna be sad about that. Cause she always did like old school. Like she'd always do like a throwback piece with like 80s or 90s hip hop. And I'm just like forever fucking salty. But anyway, they did a piece to that and it was fucking awesome. And I wish it was in it, but yeah. So the song's popping and then there's that. So a lot of shit going on. But anyway, surprisingly, but not surprisingly, cause I know damn well that this video is over 20 minutes. I'm, I'm gonna say it's like 21 minutes. I'm gonna see if I'm right. But um, yeah, so that's it for my uh, mouse favorites 2018. And this may just be the last time you see this background. Well, actually no, because I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna put this make a look out just after this video. So actually that'll probably be the last time that you see this background. But anyway, just a little thank you for still with me. As always, I fucks with you. Also y'all get in on a little something in a few months. Act not even a few months, oh shit. Like literally like a month and a half. And even probably when this video comes out, it's like a month away. Something big is happening. And I I'm very excited, but also like extremely stressed out about it, but like more excited, it'll be worth it. So that's happening in like mid-May. So I'm probably literally gonna put out a video the day or either the day before it happens or the, a couple days before it happens, just so it's like, because I'm last minute as fuck, I'm just gonna be like, yo, here's an announcement, exciting thing. So you guys will look out for that because I will make videos about it, exciting things. But anyway, yeah, thank you for uh, watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm just gonna go eat, you know, that's, that's that's what I'm gonna do, eat some fuck, bitch. I'm gonna get some chicken nuggets. That sounds damn good right now. But anyway, I'll see y'all hopefully in the next video. I'm gonna get